Okay, so welcome back. This is video number three, and we're gonna dive straight in, and we're gonna talk about creating a connection. So you kind of got a sneak peek preview of a little bit about trying to create a connection in the previous video, but before we write out your email autoresponder, and of course jump into the technical setup, you really need to understand people's problems, what they face, and what the solutions are. So what I'm going to do in this particular video is to help you figure that out and help you solidify what that really looks like. Because the reality is that before you can even do that, you need to do a bit of research, kind of demographic research, or in other words, what does somebody look like? What does your prospect look like? And understand what somebody's typical day looks like. Now, you might be wondering why would I ever want to know that? that kind of detail, that's actually very crucial because if you understand what happens in their day to day, you will understand their frustrations. You will understand their happiness. You'll understand their problems and you'll understand how to create a connection with them to go beyond just, okay, you're behind the scenes, you're behind the computer kind of thing. You'll create a connection, even though your world's apart or countries apart, you will create a connection that will click. And that's the end goal of this particular video. That should be the end goal of your list. So my question to you is, does your prospect within your niche lean heavily towards male or towards female? Or does it equally move towards both male and female? So in other words, in order for it to lean just towards female is if let's say for example that that niche is 90% female or even 95% female or even 75% but even 75% you're kind of moving towards that 50% so that it's both male and female but if it's heavily towards males or heavily towards females 80% above or 90% or above then you want to jot that down the next question is, what is your product or service or affiliate program trying to solve? So let's pick a niche. For example, survival niche. That niche tends to lean more towards males. And if you think about it, why would they be interested in survival? Well, natural disasters like earthquakes, tornadoes, and all of that can happen the best thing to do is be prepared. So a lot of times, whoever the breadwinner is, male or female, but this just happens to lean towards males more heavily, they think about what could happen in those situations. Is my family prepared? Or am I prepared enough to help my family in these dire situations? So if you have a product in that case, then... You could essentially build a lead magnet or an email autoresponder series that touches on those pains, those fears, the ones that keep them up at night, knowing whether or not their family is going to be safe in these natural disasters. It doesn't matter if you're selling a product or service or an affiliate program. The whole goal of every single one of these items is to build a relationship first then you can sell your product, then you can sell your service, and then of course, then you can sell your affiliate program. So oftentimes you'll find that the best converting email autoresponder series, they tend to build a relationship first rather than selling first. A lot of times if you sell first, you'll actually scare people off or piss people off and they'll simply go to your competitor. So if you think about these things and what essentially keeps them up at night, jot that down right now. In fact, pause this video and jot that down so that you have a better understanding of what you could potentially talk about in your email autoresponder series. And while yes, it does seem a little bit basic and while you may have heard this over and over again, and you might be thinking, yeah, whatever, let's get on with it. Really, trust me, this is actually very, very important and this is something that we didn't really even think about long, long ago when we built lists and we couldn't figure out why the lists weren't converting is because if you start with 
the problem, the pain, and move on to the solution, you have a better gauge of where people are at and how you can get them to a certain point. But if you build a list to build a list without any sort of plan, without even understanding their problems and pains and all that, you don't really know where and in what stage they are at. Does that make sense? So believe it or not, this is extremely important. You need to jot these solutions down so that people feel connected to you or else, of course, they'll leave. So with that said, let's move on to video number four.